Hey YouTube, what's up? My new setup is finally finished. I'm going to take you through a tour of it. Uh, first I kind of want to do a comparison and what the footage I'm about to show you is what it looked like before. It was still a work in progress but it looked really bad. So as you can see now. Hello and welcome to my mess. This is G3. It's my new PC that I built. Um, still some stuff that needs to be done. Like for instance the RGB light strips have really bad adhesive on them and as you can see they're falling down. That needs to be fixed. Also got a little cable management work to do, but not not a whole lot. It will look much nicer than this, trust me. Here's my messy floor. Yeah, it's a mess. Here's my messy desk. Optical drives and PlayStation 2 and Raspberry Pi. Or is um, it's soon going to be what I like to call the Pi Pod. So, this is about the closest to my setup, my current setup that I use, you guys are going to see. Like I said, it is going to look much nicer than this, but the whole thing is still kind of up in the air. Um, I have an update on this TV too. In my last video I said that this wasn't a very good TV for a monitor because I could only get 4K at 30Hz. Well, couple days, maybe a week before I hooked up my new computer and I was still running off my laptop, I thought, maybe it's a driver issue, because this laptop does have a lot of driver issues. And there's also some more dead pixels on the screen. Hoping I'll be able to rub those out with an eraser. That may sound stupid, but it actually does work, guys. So now that I've got fresh NVIDIA drivers in a GTX 1070, I am getting full 4K at 30, I mean not 30, 60 hertz. And it looks great. It looks fucking amazing, guys. So let's see what we got inside this PC. We got a Zalman CMPS um, 9900 Max. Cooling in AMD FX 8350. Now, uh, I did have a 9370, but yeah, I didn't do a whole lot of research on that processor. It turns out it's got a 100, it's got a 230 watt TDP with a core voltage of 1.4. That shit needs to be water cooled, and these VRMs here would have fried with a piece with a CPU like that. So I ended up sending it back and um, trading it for an 8350. And the main reason is because uh, the 8350 and the 9370 have the exact same performance. In fact, the 8350 performs a bit better when it comes to rendering, which is what I will be doing. And yes, I know I should have gotten an Intel CPU, but I'm cheap. And I put more money into the graphics card. The graphics card is slightly bottlenecked, but it's not too bad. I've been able to game at 4K at 30 hertz, it, I mean 60 hertz, and it just looks amazing. It's great. So yeah, this is a GTX 1070 by MSI. I will be doing a review of this card. It's a great card. The only problem I'm having with it is overclocking. I want to overclock it a little bit, but it's not. I can't get a stable overclock out of it without boosting the core voltage. So I'm, I'm actually at a 12 megahertz overclock. Yeah, that's nothing. I might as well not even overclock it at that point. So yeah, I got some Corsair fans, got a EVGA 750 watt module to power supply. A lot more power than this computer needs. I could easily get away with 500, but, uh, you know, it was cheap. Cheaper, actually. I was going to get a Corsair CX500M, and that was a little more expensive than this. And I thought, well, more power for less money. It's also an 80 plus gold rated power supply, which I like. I mean gold. Yeah, right. It's 80 plus bronze rated, not gold. Oh, that's fine. 
So, still a work in progress, guys, and I will get you updates as soon as possible. I'm gonna try and rearrange this whole setup here. That's just terrible. Compared to this, it's super clean, fully functional, and everything. And uh, I even got a new background. I edited my logo over a piece of brushed aluminum. In fact, I'll show you the picture of it. So, um, I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of talking through this video. This is pretty much just going to be B-roll, maybe some voiceover to show you or tell you what I got going on here. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so starting off, we've got a nice pan shot of the room. See my monitor and my lights and everything. This is a pan shot during night. There's a shot of my speakers and the lighting behind the speakers. There's my keyboard. There's my monitors. As you can see, the background used to be black. There's my chair. There's my UPS, which is basically, for those who don't know, backup power. It gives me about 20 minutes to shut down if we have a power outage. And there's my beautiful computer. I call it G3. It's probably a weird name, but I'm calling it G3 because my very first computer was an iMac G3. And uh, although this is not a Mac, this is the first computer that I've ever built and got to keep for myself. Every other computer that I built always went to somebody else because I've always been more of a laptop guy, so I thought G3 would be very fitting. Here's a shot of the whole desk, including my E-Element RGB keyboard and Red Dragon mouse with my tube amplifier. And my third display, which is powered by USB. You still here? Get out of here right now! Get your shit and get out. What, 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 You're done. What, what are you gonna? You gonna fire me? No! I already fired you. Why are you still here? You still here? It's over. Go home. Go.